on her third chance. Great sets victory for Pierce. 6-2, 7-5. Okay, Rick, you've influenced and trained some remarkable young men and women. Tell me about your work with Mary Pierce. Yeah, you know, Mary Pierce was very, very interesting because a lot of times with these kids that I became their personal coach for three, four, five years from like nine to 15, Mary came to me at age 15. They were at IMG Academy, weren't happy. Jim reached out to me, the father, and wanted me to coach her, you know? So at the same time, I had Venus and Serena, okay? I had Roddick, and I had Mary Pierce, okay? All at the same time. So that was, uh, and they all became pretty much household names. But right off the bat, uh, the cake was baked, I think, early with Mary. She had clean, hard, flat strokes, like Jennifer Capriotti, all right? serve okay had to do a lot of reconstructive surgery make her looser understand pronation how the legs would drive the racket just a lot of work on her serve but once again a little bit like Sharapova except maybe a little more athletic her change of direction was limited just a lot of work on footwork and agility but once again control the center of the court take the ball early take advantage of your assets hide your liabilities okay but what I like more about Mary, she had no fear. You know, if she launched it off the fence, she was coming back for another helping. You know, she had no fear and she wasn't afraid to hit the ball. And so just that alone, okay, especially in women's tennis, if you mentally are somewhat strong and you have firepower on both sides, uh, you can make it big. And that's what I really liked about her. But her whole mindset was, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. And this is a great lesson for any coach or parent because if you train people to be scared, they're gonna get better at being scared. If you train people to have no fear, they'll become fearless. Now, the problem is not a lot of parents or coaches, they wanna sit there and you know they hit the ball in the net six times and 10 out because everybody in life is in the moment. They're calling balls and strikes. It's the flavor of the month. You know, no, 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 no. I've never been like that. No one missed more balls I think I mentioned and then Venus Williams when I had her, okay? But they're positive air. It's about intentions. And the same with Mary Pierce. So many times you're going, no, 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 hey, great shot, you know? Wait a minute, don't try, hey, good shot, you know? It's, all, it's like the coach, the guy who takes a three-pointer and you say, no, no, hey, good shot, buddy. So you can't get into this type of thing because it's junior development, not junior final destination. With Mary also, a lot of work on swing volleys, try to incorporate the drop shot because when these people have a lot of power, people are going to be on their heels. So if you have a drop shot, it's going to be big. She didn't use it a lot, but everything, once again, was covered. But hers was a little bit different because the technical part was baked in other than the serve. With her, it was more strategic and giving her an opportunity to have a hitting partner every day and me to help her out as much as possible. And people kind of forget uh, she was a permanent fixture in the top 10 in the world, top five in the world. She won the French Open. She was a hanging around number two and three in the world for a long time. But people only remember super great. Sometimes they don't remember pretty great. But uh, most of all, just a great person, uh, great family, and I really enjoyed working with Mary.